Fluent on it. Oh, did you see that? Run, Dan, run, coming in and gifting a sub to Nice Natu. How are you doing? A purple check mark with a chef's hat. We need to get some ideas, guys. We need to get. We need to get. We need to keep those ideas coming up inside here. We do. There's our. Well, I put one and a half. It only wanted one and a quarter. That's all right. We're gonna. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go just under a skosh of a teaspoon of salt. We got our salt. Bada bing, bada boom. You need a tattoo of Leo on the beach. I like that. He could just be like sitting there lounging and being like all chill and all happy. A Klingon with a chef's hat. Oh. Okay, you guys, we're, we're, we, need to, we need to like write these down. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a tattoo channel on the Discord. First, for you all to share your tattoos if you have them, if you choose, if you choose. And if not, um, we can brainstorm maybe if we ever get a, if we get our purple check mark, we'll get, let's brainstorm a pancake flip on the stove herself. I like this too. <laughs> have you melted in the heat? Chef Leo at the stove. What if Leo was wearing a chef's hat, holding up a sign that has a purple check mark? Somebody had said having Leo, the, the little, like the crab, the one that where he's holding the banner, have him holding a purple check mark. Or you can be bench pressing a purple check mark. I like that one too. One and three quarters cup of our AP flour. We can do that. Why? Because we're professionals. All right, Derek, can you hand me a butter knife? Crab versus Klingon battle tattoo. Oh, that would be cool, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Klingon emote. I did have a Klingon emote for a while. I don't have it anymore. I need to get that. Of course, must little bit of water. I want to get, I do want to get Derek to play the banjo again for us. He's even better than the last time. All right. There is our flour. All right. We need some diced pickles, and we're going to use our cloths and pickles. We're going to use our cloths and pickles. How many points to get a banjo recital? Have to, let me talk to him about that. Mm hmm. Hey, Taki. The handsome man, the other handsome man with the mustache. Mm. Okay, I gotta stop eating these. We're just waiting for the good word. Let's do another one. We can do that in two days, don't worry. Yeah, you guys blew me away with how fast you guys redeemed those channel points. Absolutely blew me away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, Will, but they're gonna take a lot longer. They're gonna take a lot longer. Master split, pickle stream. I can't get decent, um, I can't get, I can't get beef that I would trust to do the steak tartare. So we need to have one cup of diced pickles. So these are spears. So I'm going to cut these up and then we'll dice them up. Pickle perfect. I was going to do a, a pickle canning stream, but I can't get any cucumbers right now. If you ever do a channel point redemption for an age reveal, make sure you do a really high goal. One million. I don't think anybody would. I'm always surprised at how many people want to know my age. Oh, the oven's ready. I'm just taking out some of these seeds because they can be kind of, 
I'm gonna add a lot of liquid. Today's been a special, oh, your grandma turned 99? Now that is a milestone. Happy birthday to your grandma, holy schmoly. What, okay, does she have any favorite food she wanted you guys to cook up? Derek's grandma was very independent all the way up until she went, she went into a, um, like an assisted living facility at 100. That's pickle abuse. No, it's not. We're still going to be eating them. I posted a question in Discord. If you guys go to a deli and get a good sandwich, um, are you upset if you don't get a pickle on the side, whether they advertise it or not? I am so disappointed that I will actually question them. You guys aren't given like a pickle spear on the side. They don't have to give a whole pickle, but a pickle spear would be nice. They don't have to give a half a pickle. I miss my grandma a lot. She loved to cook, so this is a nice place to be. We're always about the love up in here. Always about the love up in here. And it's wonderful that you have those memories with her, you know. I have no memories of cooking with my, with my grandparents, none. Except for every now and then when we'd go out to Tucson, Arizona, because that's where my dad's parents live, sometimes grandma would be making corned beef and cabbage. Let me get that. You can have my pickles. I will take all the pickles. I am telling you, though, if you, have, if you like peanut butter and you like dill pickles, get those flat sandwich slicers or stackers, I think they call them, pickles, so you don't have to do a bunch of cutting up of pickles. And then... Make yourself a, I like creamy peanut butter when I, do the, when I do the peanut butter and pickle sandwich. That's my favorite. And then I'm telling you, hands down, it is so good. I'm good friends for pickle lovers. They get all my pickles. Those sandwich slicers, aren't they great? They're perfect for doing, perfect for making sandwiches. Mmm. Mm, cake and sandwiches delivered. Mm. So Lord Bellows, my dad, back in the day when we were kids, would get these spicy pickles and spears like this. And we would just take a piece of bologna. Not the bologna they make now. Most, most of you probably have never had real bologna. We'd get it, you'd get it at the butcher's. You didn't get it in a pre-wrapped package in plastic. And... We would wrap the bologna around that spicy pickle. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see how many pickles we have here. If I'm going to be cooking with pickles, I prefer the refrigerator pickles. They're a little bit firmer. And if you guys can your own pickles, and we will be doing that as soon as I can get a hold of pickles or get a hold of cucumbers. When you can your own home pickles, put them in the refrigerator the night before, before you serve them. Hello. I got them all going. I got all my tats going on. I'm showing off my tats now. It's official. Y'all did it. Y'all made me do it. I'm washing my doggo. Is your doggo good about getting a bath? Some dogs are. Some dogs are not. All right. We need one cup of cup pickles on my hand. Rexus, how are you doing today? I remember slicing bologna at work. Yes. My dad would get the big old, the big old thick chunks of bologna. He'd have the butcher slice it though. Well, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more spear. I'm mesmerized by your tattoos. And they're old. They're not, they're not, they're not new tattoos. They're old tattoos. But like if I'm, if I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and I'm going to be out, you know, outside or, or whatever, um, they get lots of sunscreen. Tired and in pain. Oh, Rexus. Well, I hope you get to just relax. Let the world fade away. We also need two tablespoons of our pickle juice. I want to make sure I get a full cup of pickles. I'm not skimping on our pickles. What the tattoos are, 
I got this one. It says food creates the memories that feed us. You, that's my tagline. It's a tagline I made up many, many years ago and, and use all over the place. And because it's true. I mean, how many of you have memories of food with a family member? You know, your grandparents, you know, your, your siblings, your best friends. Maybe the first time you made pizza was with your best friend. Um, and, you, and you look back on those and it's like you can almost taste the food, right? You remember how good that, that, that meal was that you had with that individual. So I got that when I, when I graduated from culinary school. That was, my, that was my treat to myself. And then this one is my family. We're a small bunch and we're a very tight bunch. And some of us have passed away. So their leaves are in the autumn colors, the colors of fall. They have fallen from the vine, but they are never forgotten. So that's, these are family members who have, who have died. And I will, always, I will always carry them with me with a badge of honor. Okay, so we have our, there's our one cup of pickles. Mmm, pickles. Pickles, I got my pickles. I got my pickles. We got your pickles, it's your pickle name Heinz. All right, so we need that. Let's put this, we need to get some pickle juice out. I need to mop up some pickle juice here. Pigeon injured my shoulder at work. Rexus. Were you lifting those giant trays with the baked goods on them? Or twisting to lift those things? Let's get our pickle juice. We need two tablespoons of pickle juice. We need, as I said, this has pickles, pickle juice. I'm gonna go a little bit more on the pickle juice there. Got a little bit of water there. We don't wanna do that. Oh, we're getting some fresh dill. So this has all the different layers of pickle flavor, guys. This has got the dill pickles that we're putting in here. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our pickle juice. And we're gonna be adding fresh dill. One of my favorite memories of my grandma was watching her bake a pie without any recipe. I waited many years before I got my my tattoo because it's permanent. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this. I don't need this. We're gonna use a, we're gonna use our spatula here. Um, because I knew I wasn't gonna get it, I wasn't ever gonna get it removed and I wanted it to be something I was okay with having on, on my arm for the rest of my life. Or identified with she doesn't have any dental records, but we recognize that tattoo from the stream we watched. Leo's being sneaky. So we need four tablespoons of fresh chopped dill. Let's do that. Probably end up chopping up almost all of this then. This is gonna add a different, a different flavor of dill. I still have memories of food tomorrow when me and my mom are going with our friend to a family to this new Indian restaurant that only opened up a few weeks ago. I think it's a buffet style where we can grab a plate, grab what we want. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. So the guy has been sort of canceled due to stupidity, arrogant attitudes. He had Andrew Zimmerman from Bizarre Foods did give me a couple of my philosophies. Try something new on at least two different occasions. Yes. And we've talked about that. We've talked about that, that a lot of times people will take a bite of something and go, I don't like it. It's like, okay, that was your first time trying it. Now I want you to try it again, but I want you, I want you to have it prepared in a different fashion. Baked fish versus fried fish versus sauteed fish versus grilled fish, smoked fish, canned fish, right? But I also want you to try it in a different environment. Maybe the music was too loud when you tried it the first time and you think you didn't like the fish, but when actuality you were like, oh my gosh, I can't get this stupid song out of my head. Why are they playing this music? And you were actually more upset at that. Oop, I don't like that little piece. I've never tried head cheese. I think we, I think we had to make it in class, but I don't think I was part of, of that session. I don't, man, I'd have to go back to my blog and see. All the ones I have in mind, Star Trek might be my first, okay. All sorts of good stuff. 
absolutely hate to leave early, but we re-watch soon. Thank you, Kanara Mods, an amazing community. Let us grow. Thank you so much for popping in for the time that you did. I appreciate that so very much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Uh, no different than any other kind made over from leftover pig parts. Okay. I'd try it. Try anything once. Try anything once. Unless it's against your religion, right? So um, if you're Muslim, you're not going to eat pork. And that's, I would never, I would never try to force that on somebody. And if you're a vegetarian, um, some vegetarians will eat cow dairy and they will have, so they will have um, eggs and some dairy and then uh, vegans, of course, won't have any animal byproducts and never force somebody to try something. If somebody, if somebody says, I, I really don't want to try it, don't keep saying, come on, come on. Just say, okay, I hope you'll change your mind. And if you do, I will keep this little bit, just this little bit aside for you later. And if you don't like it, you can always spit it out in the sink and then just walk away. And just, just leave it at that. Uh, do, 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 do. You're missing out on head cheese. I want to try it. Norway has their own version of head cheese. Oh, I imagine they would. I imagine they would. And I'm sure, um, like, um, where, um, what's the word I'm uh, looking for? Like pig ranches? I'm sure they have, I'm sure, I'm sure they have like family recipes. People have been raising, you know, pigs for years. Take this one here too. I watched it at a super young age, maybe five or six became a huge part of me. So not only do I want to be part of then that's that's it right there because that means you have a good that means you have a good memory of that vantage and that's important and that's something you connect with right that's something you connect oh let's get that little piece there the rest of these are kind of icky all right we're going to dice all this up here i was being careful and stuff had to put away our frozen supplies i lifted i lifted a box oh i felt your shoulder crunch a bit oh rexus i am so sorry Okay, so this looks like a lot of a lot of dill, but we we're, as we chop this up, it's going to get also the same shoulder that I almost dislocated a couple of months ago. Rexus, if you almost dislocated that a couple of months ago, that probably wasn't even healed from that injury. It was already weak. No. I'm gonna get all this together in here. All right, so we have our dill and a little bit of cheddar cheese. We're gonna put a little bit of cheddar inside of this. Huh? No, the pizza's gonna be the last thing I do. Oh, goodness gracious, crochet! Crochet coming in with a party of 13 raiding the station. Crochet, my goodness gracious. Thank you so very much for that raid and raiders welcome on in. I'm Kanara. I'm a food and drink streamer here on Twitch, but I also crochet. I haven't streamed crocheting yet. I will someday. I will someday, but raiders welcome on in. Right down there is my logo. If you click my logo, that just takes you out of the raid URL, brings you directly into my stream, and that helps out my channel. We applied for, we applied for the illustrious partner position back in May. So we're, we're always hopeful. Welcome on in. Crochet, what were you making today? I'm going to show you what I made. I am, I would not make a blanket with this particular stitch that I'm going to show you. I, it, I think it's too much of a yarn hog for a big blanket. Even a throw blanket, I think it would be a yarn hog. But if you had a bunch of extra yarn and you have scrap yarn, that might be kind of cute. But let me get this kind of clean. Let me get this let me get this in the oven baking. We're making dill pickle bread. Today is pickle palooza. I was supposed to be canning pickles today, but we didn't have any cucumbers to make our pickles. I am a home food safety and preservation specialist. Uh, I have two tabs. There you go. There you go. I, um, I'm a home food safety 
uh, specialist and a, and a preservation specialist. I actually teach classes on, on how to do this. And so normally on Fridays, you know, July, August, September, prime canning time, I didn't get a hold of any cucumbers. So today we're doing pickle palooza. We're making dill pickle bread. Nice hash knife. Where? Where's my hash? Where's the, what's the hash knife? Uh, have you heard back from the partner? Oh no, Rexus, I haven't heard anything. It's run silent, run deep. But like I said, when I applied, then we had Memorial Day. We also had 4th of July in there. And those are three-day weekends. And, you know, who knows? Maybe on the day that I applied, they had a thousand other applications come in. Who knows? Oh, the Ulu knife. I love this. I love this. This is given to Mary Todd sent this to me. And this is one of those knives that I love this. So this is an Ulu. This is an... Uh, an Alaskan knife that is used by the Inuit, Inuits. And man, let me tell you, when you watch them use these knives, they make me look like a child holding a giant butter knife. All right, so there is our dough. There is our dough. It's a wet dough. So we are making dill pickle palooza today. Dill pickle bread. We're gonna make a dill pickle hummus. And I'm making a cheeseburger pizza with extra pickles. I thought that'd be kind of fun. You notice that since I'm wearing a white shirt today, I am not working with spaghetti sauce. I have an idea, a Star Trek insignia surrounded by a rainbow and galaxy colors. They kind of have something like that already on a poster where they have taken all the insignias and, and it, looks like, um, it looks like they're flying through the sky with, with the rainbow colors. As soon as I get this in the oven, I want to show crochet the, the scarf. She'll know what the stitch is. It's called a, um, it's called a feather stitch. I think I could, I could probably look up all these different stitches that would be like, oh, what's this stitch? Oh, what's this stitch? But yet yeah, you show it to crochet and she'd be like, mm, I gotcha. Let me show you how to do that. Cro go follow crochet guys. A few guys, holy Toledo. A recipe reborn lemon drop is in the house. Lemon drop. Oh, that's it. Right, guys, we're flexing today. It's the first time I've shown my tattoos on stream. The chat redeemed all the channel points. I was saying, go follow Crochet, guys. Lovely, lovely woman. Does these beautiful streams of showing you how to craft things from yarn and making knitting and crocheting. And such a chill, chill night, lovely stream. Now we have the lovely lemon drop here in the house. Lemon drop, how are you doing today? What were you making over there? Yes, we redeemed. I have talked to you, I'll redo that for you. I'll redo that for you. The chat, we, I had a channel point redemption up. Here we got our bread real quick. Let me show you our bread going. This is our dill pickle bread. It's got the dill, the dill pickles, the pickle juice. We got all the good stuff going in here. Holy schmoly Costa! Gosh darn it! Costa, thank you so very much. Barry gifted a sub. Costa gifting two subs. You guys, you almost started a hype train. Costa, how are you doing? Is everybody getting ready over there? Is everybody getting excited? We're rooting for B-Bubs. We're rooting for Bubs, guys. We're gonna be raiding the Crown Channel today. Bubs is in there representing. He's going round two, guys. He already, I was the judge when, when Bubs was first on the Crown Channel. Can't be the judge this time, but I can be over there cheering on this time. Like, let's do it, let's do it. What up? Oh, Costa, hello, how are you? Yes, we're flashing our tats today. So this is my, I got this when I graduated chef school. It says food creates, the mem food creates the memories that feed us. It's my own little tagline, something I came up with years ago. This is my family. We're a close bunch. There's not a whole lot of us. And some have passed away and fallen from the vine. So they're in the autumn colors, but they're never forgotten. And now I'm just saying that if Twitch wants to give me good news, a purple check mark is going to end up over here. Just saying, just saying, set our timer. Shoot. Hot, hot, ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay, you know what? I'll put the cheese on top. We forgot to put the cheese inside the bread. I'll put the cheese on top. There we go. Come on, Twitch, make it happen. Come on, let's make it happen. Let's get a purple check today. How about that? I think that's pretty good. That's on the fly. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Come do, do. 
Emiko Maxwell, am I saying that right? And welcome to the stream and thank you so much for that follow. Macaroni and cheese, oh wait a minute, you made a salted caramel tart, a vegan salted caramel tart? How did you do the filling? Coconut milk? I have questions. I have questions. Oh, did you see that? Costa, heart your face. Thank you so much. Gift and a sub to Lemon Drop. I appreciate that. Now you guys all have those new emotes. You can take them for a test drive around the channel at any time of your choosing. Yes, hello, and I love the tattoo. Thank you. It feels kind of weird because I've, I've hidden my tattoo, you know. I mean, I go to the grocery store with short sleeves on, but I've never shown them on stream. So it's like, uh, mostly nuts, okay. I had a chocolate cream pie that was not only vegan, but it was unbaked. It was, it's part of the raw food diet. And the crust was all the different nuts and hardcore raw food um, dieters, I guess. They won't even put their food into a food processor or a blender because that creates friction, has some heat. But they did on this one. And then the cream filling was cocoa powder and mashed up avocados and then the the whipped cream on the top was done with a coconut milk. It was just a beautiful thing. Anonymous cheer. Thank you so much for the biddies. Oh my gosh, you guys. Come on, ride a train, a choo-choo ride. Come on, ride a train, a choo-choo ride. Wait a minute, Taki played a sound that got, hang on. Taki, what was the sound wave that you played that I said I would redo? Oh, we also have a bad boys I have to redo because I didn't hear any of this one at all. When it all popped into the thing, let's do the bad boys one. Let's do the bad boys one. Pew, pew. I'm telling you guys, Lemon Drop is making some dang good food over in her kitchen over in her kitchen it was a crab rave let's do let me do that one i will t i will do the crab rave right now boop 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 where there we go welcome back bell lemon inspires a lot of people Leading the food and drink category for sure. Got to get it in there. We got to get it in there. Put me in Twitch. I'm ready to play today. Got to take Fred out. Fred takes priority. Fred always takes priority. Fur babies always take priority. No, she's not taking her husband out. Come on, honey, let's go potty. I do that with Derek. Come on, Derek, let's go potty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, we already got through a level one hype train. Thank you. You guys are terrific. You guys just spoil me rotten. Spoil me rotten. Remember when we made, we're gonna be making our hummus. Remember the chickpeas that we canned and I showed you guys how to can chickpeas? This is the reason right here. I can make a quick batch of hummus, homemade. Mm. I'll get a tattoo of the first ship I drew for Star Trek. There you go. Get something that, oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. now. This particular recipe calls for a lot more cheese than I want in it. One, I don't want to have all the extra fat. So this calls for like a whole cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I think it's a whole cup of, yeah, it's a cup plus. And they want you to put half of it inside and the other half on the outside. I was just going to put half of it on the inside and leave it at that. I'll put the half on the outside, kind of like when they do like a cheesy bread, a cheesy bread, a, a nice little cheesy bread. make sure we don't miss out on anything up here there are so many recipes with pickles i want to try the pickle popsicles i think that just sounds divine boo boo hello nice to see you today thank you for coming over here so remember guys if you guys are if you guys are buying your pickles on the shelf in the in the grocery store and you're drinking the pickle juice for health benefits you are getting no health benefits whatsoever you are drinking a lot of salt is basically what you're doing. If you buy fermented pickles, pickles that have never been heat treated and have undergone lactic fermentation, that is where you get your probiotics. That's like when you do your sauerkraut 
We're going to be fermenting some pickles. We're gonna, I've got a pickle crock. We'll be fermenting our pickles on a pickle crock. But that's your, that's your good pickles. Tattoos and piercings aren't my thing. Oh, heck yeah. That's the beauty of, I think that's the beauty of anything. It's, if you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. And shame on anybody who begrudges anybody for having or not having. If you look at somebody and they don't have pierced ears, they don't have tattoos, their body, their choice. Tried a pickle popsicle I found in our fridge at work. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the best. I tried, I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. I don't know if you guys all know what Sonic is. It's a, like a drive up car hop where you, you drive up. They don't have like an indoor restaurant that you can go in and eat, but you drive up, you order, the car hop comes out and brings you your food. I tried their dill pickle slushy. It was imitation dill pickle flavor. Can you believe that? I was so disappointed, so disappointed. I'm like, you guys can't go buy a vat of pickle juice. You can't, I mean, you, you're putting pickles on the hamburgers. Save the juice. I had my ears pierced when I was younger. I think I was 16 when I got my ears pierced and they freaked me out. And so I took them out. You guys, thank you so much for the hype train. That was wonderful. Um, why is applying to jobs so exhausting? Are you doing online applications? Which I don't like. I do not like. I want to walk in with my application and say, hi, is the manager here? And when the manager comes over, say, you know, hello, John. My name's Kanara, and I just want to come by and thank you for taking, the, uh, taking a moment to see me. I appreciate that. I just want to hand you my application and let you know that I, I truly look forward to, to hearing from you and hope we, we can do an interview. That's your first point of contact, not something sterile on a screen. I, I, and insist, insist on seeing the manager. You can fill out your application online, go down to the place that you're applying, walk in and ask to speak with the manager and just say, hi, my name's you know, Jane Doe, and I just want to let you know that I did submit my application online to um, hopefully get an interview with you and hopefully join your, your establishment and, and start working here with you. Got to go in and, and, and you got to go in and, and get that eye contact. Got to get that FaceTime. Once I walk in with a resume and they act like I was bonkers, that does happen a lot because they don't know what to do with it. They're like, what do we do with the resume? Because you're doing the application online. It's like, how do we attach a resume? You know, how do we, and chances, and, and you know, the person working behind the counter is probably like, I have no idea what to do with this. I just got home. So thank you so for before and all the amazing love Panda. I'm glad you got home safe and sound. Put your feet up, put your feet up. You and your lady should go turn on Netflix, have a glass of wine and just relax and just totally like, whew, just totally chill out over there. I just applied for a job this week in South Dakota. All right, there you go. I think of, I, I don't like doing interviews and we've, we've talked about this. I don't like doing the interviews. I do them because I have to um, when I work in my corporate job, but it's not something I really like doing, but I interview very well. I will interview for any job. I would interview for a job just to interview for the job, just to see if they'd give it to me and go, yeah, I don't really want it. I just want to see if you'd give it to me. But I won't do that because that's a waste of the manager's time and somebody who was really hoping to get that job didn't get it and so I won't do that. Yes. Send in an app, wait a couple of days and then say hi, exactly. Lady still working, I don't drink alcohol, there you go. It's much better than anything on Netflix. Panda, hurt your face. Heart your face and have a glass of iced tea, decaf tea, so you can go to sleep. I have some good. Uh, oh wait, you're supposed to be moving to Missouri. Are you not moving to Missouri now, Dave? I'm always kind of curious. I've worked with a company for like 10 years. I've only had to do like two interviews. My first job was at a bank. My second job was at Toys R Us. Then I went to work for Bobby McGee's. Me and my Bobby McGee's, la da 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 da. And that restaurant was not based on the song, by the way. So I digress and worked for them. Then they got a new manager who was violent. Um, he, he was violent. And where I was at in the kitchen, the fry station was right here. Then you had the line cooks, the main chef, a dishwasher station, you know, it was. And I learned how to use the fry thing because sometimes when they got like super busy, I'm like, I'll drop your fries for you. I'll drop the zucchini or whatever it was I had to put in there. But the manager one time came through, and this was, this was the day I was like, I'm out. He came in, and because the, 
the, the head chef didn't do something exactly the way he wanted it, even though the head chef was like, yeah, you may want that, but we can't do that here. We can't do that back here in this kitchen. I mean, the chef knows what they're doing food wise. He got mad. The guy walked over and cut right into the middle of the prime rib, hadn't even rested yet, cut into the middle of the prime rib, and then walked back and then looked back over at him like this and took the, the slicing knife. Now mind you, it doesn't have a point on it. This is a carving knife. It's designed, you know, the real small skinny blade. It's designed for carving meats nice and thin. Took that knife and he threw it. And that knife went right past my head. And I was like, no. And I went back to Toys R Us. <laughs> it's hard to work as an employed chef. I can't even imagine. Yeah, I, I won't tolerate, I won't tolerate um, tyrants. He always had a temper tantrum. I remember one time he threw a chair in the bar area because we all heard it crash in the bar area. And it was like, okay. And I, a, a lot of employees, a lot of employees left. And then apparently he, he either was relocated or I don't know what. And then some of the employees went back, but I was already on to a different career. It wasn't really a place where we could report stuff back then. I was just like, you know what? And when I went back to Toys R Us and interviewed back at Toys R Us, one of the questions they asked was, so, and back then, when I used to interview, you had to take in a pay stub to show what your previous pay was, that you really were employed by who you said you were. Even though they could call for references, you might've been giving them a number that somebody's gonna answer that phone and say, oh, this is Bobby McGee's restaurant, how can I help you? And they don't know, so you had to take in a pay stub. And they looked at my pay stub and they said, we can't pay you what you were, because when I left, I was the bookkeeper and I was just filling in every now and then as the, as the cashier. And when I left and, and went back over to the Toys R Us, I said, you're, you made a lot more over at Bobby McGee's than what you're making here. Why would you take a downgrade and pay? And I said, well, to be honest with you, when I first started working here, you know, a few years ago, I absolutely loved doing it. And I decided to, you know, get into the accounting world. I was taking finance classes and everything else. I said, but I would rather work for a job that I love doing and get paid less than work for a job I hate and get paid more. They hired me on the spot. Ding. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. Might be. Uh, didn't catch all of it, but this is what. Is she home? Wait, let me see if I can see. Oh, wait. Is, is mom home? I didn't think my sister was going to be home. Okay, I'm checking. I'm checking. Living in a blender. Thank you so much for that follow. He needed an attitude adjustment with the bat lift. Well, you know, I've got, you know, we've got the, we've got the Klingon knife. I could go back. I don't remember his name. I put that guy out of my face, out of my face, out of my, out of my head for, for so long. I didn't set my timer, guys. I was going to set my timer. So how long does it want this to cook for? 30 minutes. Okay, let's check it in. Let's give it seven minutes we'll give it seven minutes and then we'll check it bake it until a toothpick in the center comes out clean add the cheese set your broil to high uh, do, 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 do. uh wait her appointment there we go Okay, I'll turn that down a little tiny bit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to make sure that my mom's having her, her cancer procedure. Do you ever use a voice command for a timer? I don't have anything turned on that listens to my voice. So I have Siri turned off on my phone. Siri's turned off on the iPad. Our TV apparently has one of those remotes that you can talk to. It's turned off and my TV's not even plugged into the internet. I do have Roku, but it's not the listening one because they kind of freak me out. Six minutes, okay. Oh my gosh. I can't tell, I have different rings for them. Oh, she's waiting on, she's getting her sutures here pretty soon. The particle beam, I almost picked this, I almost picked this up and drank out of this. I was reaching for this instead. <laughs> but yeah, so I always try to set my, my timer on here. When we were doing canning, I had to have one timer for one, my phone for the other one. And then we were cooking something that day now Siri bot, which is a great bot for those of you who are streamers, I highly recommend getting Siri bot. Uh, I've got, I've got six minutes on this one and then I'm going to, I'll, I'll flip it and turn it 
This looks like it is definitely doubled in size. I'm gonna take that out of the take that out of the heat. And then we'll set it for, after this one dings, we'll set it for, I think Siri Bot only goes up to 15. I wanted to send them a, I want to send them like a help file type thing. And not a help file, but like a, like a trouble ticket that says, can you make the timers longer than, than 15 minutes? I think 15 minutes is the max that we can do for our timers. But the Siri Bot is great for streamers because it, it blocks the follow bots, which is great. And if you guys are getting, if you guys are getting private messages here on Twitter, Twitter, on uh, Twitch, if you guys are getting private messages on here that are from people who are selling cryptocurrency, in the, when the win little window opens up, there's a little gear setting, make sure that you report their name, that they are scamming, and then block them. And do not click any links you get in a private message unless it's from somebody that you actually know. What's a berry timer? A Barry timer is Barry yelling at me in chat going, uh, Kanara, your timer's up. Your timer's up. <laughs> yeah, I got two this morning. I got two people who sent me spam messages. Oh, that was a video from yesterday. Okay. All right, sorry. Okay, back to streaming. Let me know. They said it wasn't going to be back. They said this procedure... The second test result came in that this procedure that they were having done wasn't going to be as invasive as the last one. So that was good to hear. But she didn't know that until you also got two messages. I wonder if we got the same message from everybody. Scammers. We don't need scammers. I'm amazed I haven't gotten a crypto. We did get, we did get one on here that we had had to block. They came in with their little chat message and my mods were all over that. It's like, bloop, bloop, gotta go. Nope, we don't need it. We don't need that at all. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. I think it's going to go. I think it's going to go okay. You know, my mom has had a lot of, a lot of different skin cancers. And so we, as when we were kids, um, we learned more about sunscreen. Sending good vibes to your mama. Thank you for that, Belle. I appreciate that. So we're going to put, we're going to take out our, You guys hear that? Hello, Jane Henry. How are you doing? My mom is having a, the Mohs procedure on her face. She had one done here uh, two years ago. She's having one done here. There's a, a deep, like a deep um, cancerous mass that's growing in her face. It, it feels like a cyst. And so they have to cut, they have to literally cut your face open, go in, they scrape it out because they can't like cut it out. Then they put it under a microscope. They do a scan, the scan detects the cells. It lets them know how much farther they have to scrape down. So if they have to, and it takes like an hour in between each one. Then they go in, they scrape more, it gets tested. And sometimes the procedure can take two to seven hours. Our last one took six hours. Yeah, but it looks like they already got it all. So she's getting ready for her sutures now. So it's like, yes, but Miss Jane Henry, how are you doing? Did we get a shout out from Miss Jane Henry? I love watching her. She, she is, the epitome of soul food, guys. You guys want to go le learn how to cook soul, uh, soul food and, and food that makes your heart happy and makes you smile when you eat it. And then when she gets a case of the giggles, it's just precious as all heck. All right, we're going to we're gonna get these beans out of here. These are garbanzo beans. You guys might know them as chickpeas. It's the same bean. But we're making, we're making hummus. All right, got all those out. We're gonna rinse these real good because beans have a lot of protein. So when you home can your beans, and remember we poured boiling water over these. So the boiling water goes over them. They, they went into a pressure canner. Um, I think it was for, was it for 40 minutes? There we go. And because they're still, they're releasing a lot of protein even after they've been soaked. We'll bring this over here. The the liquid inside is not going to be loose. It's going to be very gelatinous, very, very gelatinous. Well, wait a minute. Hang on. I got out of surgery myself about a half an hour ago, fixed my trigger finger. What happened, Jane? Let's get some good vibes up in here for Jane. I'm going to put a good vibe up in here. 
Will it let me do it? Oh, I need to take off the, I need to take off the, um, the cool down on that. I didn't realize that. Crew was a little shocked. I was going back to work. I would be shocked you're going back to work. Ding, ding. I love all the dings. I love all the dings. That just sounds happy. All right, that's our first, that was our six minutes. We'll turn this around. I gotta, oh, I gotta cook up the hamburger here in a bit. Okay, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to think of how to describe the smell of this bread. You can smell the pickles, but because of the batter that's around the dill pickle, it's reminiscent of the smell of, like when you get fish and chips, but not the fish portion, just the chips with that tartar sauce. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Wait, don't pop the stitch. My left thumb literally froze in place. I couldn't bend it at all. Oh my gosh, I had to be terrified. I can do it now, but I think I got so excited about it. Jane, Jane, they need to splint that. We don't want you, we don't want you ruining your, we don't want you ruining your, your new procedure to get everything working. No, 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 no. I'm gonna put these into the, Mmm. Y'all know how I love hummus. I do love the hummus. I do love the hummus. Okay, I did not order anything. <sighs> I didn't order anything from the Twitch sale. Oh, set the timer. Let's set the timer for 20 minutes. Let's do 20 minutes. And start. Okay. Hummus and focaccia. Oh, that's a win-win right there, Lord Velos. That is a win-win-win. I have no idea what they're talking about right now. All right, so we need to get... All right, so the bread is a cooking. We'll put that over here. We'll put that over when it dings. We're going to take it out. We're going to put some of my plant-based cheddar cheese. Not quite the same thing, but it helps in a pinch. Your Instapot came today. If I hate this model, I'm blaming it on the Instant Pot owners. Which one did you get? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we're going to need some garlic. I did not buy anything from Prime. I know. Oh, okay, okay. I can understand that, Dave. It's like, look, I'm getting ready to move. I'm sure there'll be another Prime. We can, we can get stuff then. I just have my... I just, I, I, I was like, ah, I just couldn't do it. You know, need versus want. Need versus want. So it's like, yeah. I am just gonna put in one clove of garlic right now. It says one to two. I have found that as I get older, I don't like garlic as much as I used to. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you, to you all. I don't want you all sitting there going, oh my gosh, how can I not love garlic? Found, there we go. Sure, everyone remembers my first production model. So did you get it like the six quart or the eight quart? Oh, the seven and one duo, there you go. So the seven and one duo, that duo function, I believe is what's going to give you the yogurt function. I love making, I have the seven and one six quart. I don't have the duo though. Or is the duo the sous vide? I also got poked four times for a blood draw. The one I hate is when I was when they do the the IV here in the top of your hand. When I had Laura, she started the IV here, and then she's doing some other stuff, and I'm like, "Excuse me, is my hand supposed to be doing this?" And my hand was like, because she didn't hit the vein, she was under the skin. I was like, "What?" I was like, "No, I make I you, oh you do make your own yogurt. That is good." So I'm gonna cut up now. I'm this is going into a food processor, right? And so you're probably thinking, "Well, why are you slicing up your?" your garlic if it's going to go into a food processor. It just helps the food processor out a little bit. I hate the back of the hand IVs. I do too. Little dino boy found about 10 years old. I need to get, I did, I have a, a yogurt strainer on my list because mine's starting to get. I've done it through a clean t-shirt. I have an old cotton t-shirt that I cut the collar off, cut the sleeves off 
and then it was two pieces, wash, clean, sterilize. And I used to strain my yogurt through that, but it takes forever. It takes two days to strain your yogurt in the refrigerator. I was in the hospital with a kidney infection in high school and had one in hand. Yeah, it's, it's a weird, and when you move it, you feel like, I mean, they don't leave the needle in there, but there is a, a catheter inside there. So yeah, low cart, you know, I ate myself sick on it. I'm a, I, I have to say, I am surprised at how many, at how many recipes I see on Facebook for yogurt with all these ingredients. Sweet condensed milk is not in yogurt at all. Yogurt has two ingredients, milk, culture, nothing else. No sugar is added to yogurt, nothing else. Milk and culture. If you're doing yogurt at home, your culture is going to be a, about a half a cup, quarter of a cup to a half a cup of yogurt that does have live probiotic bacteria that's growing in it. It will say that on the ingredients, but that's it. There's no sweet condensed milk. There is no, um, what was that? What were some of the other things that people were adding to their yogurt? My yogurt's not thick. I added this and it was fine. It's like, no, it's just milk and culture, nothing else. Uh, step away for a few minutes and you reveal your tats. Boom. Right there. We did it. I had an IV in my hand and the nurse put it in wrong. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's a horrible sensation. It's a horrible sensation. I either use a coffee filter to strain my yogurt or dried powdered milk. Some people did, have, were adding dried powdered milk to that. Yes. Hello, Venus Tranquility. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Had a medical procedure where the nurse missed the IV insertion five times. Had to get a higher nurse to do it. Needles don't bother me. I mean... <laughs> if, you, if, 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 if you're a needle phobe, you're, you're not going to want to get a tattoo because there's a lot of needles going in there. Um, but needles don't bother me. And I don't mind if, like when the nurse comes in and says, this is, you know, little Johnny or little Debbie or, or whomever, and they just graduated from hematology school, would you mind if they drew your blood today? And I, and I look at them and I said, here's the deal. I have no problem with you drawing my blood today you get two attempts, one and two. And if you miss, they take over. And they're like, okay, have at it. And they're pretty good. Getting my COVID shots was nerve wracking. I'm glad I don't have um, an aversion to needles. When I was in fourth grade, I had to have the allergy tests. And the allergy test is they do 25 down here, 25 down here, and they take these little needles that have like two prongs and it gets dipped into, they have these little tiny vials and these little tiny vials that have something like cat dander, cat dander, newspaper ink, anything that you could possibly be allergic to. Community Square Jerk. I like that name. Make it mean something. Nice pickle. I have the best pickles. I have the best pickles. Welcome on in. Thank you for following Pinta. Welcome on in. Tally Bananas. Okay, that's a cute name too. A tripping fox. How did you guys find the channel and where are you watching from? Come little Bobby, family. what the heck? What the heck? Little Bobby comes in here, follows a channel and kaplooey, drops five subs. Can we get a hype Let for little Bobby you. Borpa? Borpa, I gotta say that right. Vampiric Vacuum, Jonas, Hey It's Cat, Happy Come Kittens and Stardance all Let getting subs. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Oh my goodness, great. Backward Emu, thank you for the follow. Big boy Mike oh, oh, coming in with is a huge streamer and just showed you on stream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you, well, you guys, welcome on into the stream. Today we're doing Pickle Palooza. We also reveal the tattoos. My tattoos are older, of course. I'm older as well. But that? welcome on in. Holy Toledo, you guys. Holy Toledo, this is... <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh my gosh, we're making... I was going to be canning pickles today. I am a home food safety and preservation specialist, so welcome oh, on in. Did you see that? Holy schmoly, you guys are going to make her cry. And some of them might be in, in, uh, in, in uh, penis chat. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. Where's my pen? Because I want to go over there and check out that 
I want to go over there and check out the stream. I can't do it right now. Wait a minute. Where? I just lost. I just lost the. Oh, there we go. Pinta, not. Okay. There we go. The nice thing about, I will say, the nice thing about watching um, streamed and being able to follow is that in on the PC, you can just click on their name if they're in the chat, and you can actually just click on follow. So you guys, well, science comes in with bits and earns a 1K bit badge. What the heck? Don Quixote, hello, Don Quixote. That, okay. You get a, you, you get props for the name, Don Quixote. You get props for the Come name. Danny family. Fresh, Yitzhak, Dweebstify, holy, holy cow, guys. Holy cow. We are getting closer and closer to 5,000. Your boy Resto, Parma, Parma, is that a play on Parmesan? Is that a play on Parmesan? Zenlith, Doggo, Amateur, Come Amateur Poop, <laughs> Nova Gacy, Holy Toledo. I wrote that down. Come I wrote that. And I, you know, we're going to put a star by it. We're going to put a star by it. I have to send a thank you note. Yes, I actually send thank you notes. I send thank you notes to streamers. I, I, I send thank you notes. I am, I am that person. Science, definitely please go follow Science Stream, guys. Make science so much fun and is an incredible artist as well. An incredible artist. Bill, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Rulong. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. Wait a minute, did we just get... Oh, there we go. Pro, pro, is that Protato? Is that Protato? I like that. Dr. Borba, Marikai. Hello, Suki. How are you doing? Follow this legend. Well, Penta, I don't know if you're still watching the stream, but thank you so very much. Did we get a shout out for Penta for doing this? What a huge, what a huge, uh, DJ Death Chef. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> Hang on, I want to go over. I don't, I, I'm not really good at typing on this keyboard. This is absolutely. Okay, I don't know. Wider King coming in. I have to go. I'm sad for missing the action. Bill, that's okay. I know you're at work. Thank you so much for being here today and hanging out. I appreciate that. Yitzhak, hello, Trevor. Your ink is very pretty. Thank you. I've had, it's, it's, it's many years old. And of course it's changed a little bit in the fact that when I first got them, like this one up here, I was about the weight I am now. Then I, then I had gained and then I've lost like 35 pounds. So they may be raisins. By the time I'm in my eighties, these could be raisins. Who knows? Who knows? Oh my gosh. Benta, thank you so, so very much. Oh my God, all the Come followers, the all the new family in here, you guys. Thank you. That, I mean, that really means a lot to me. That is absolutely incredible. The Come generosity the and the kindness of another you. streamer saying, hey guys, I'm streaming live right now. Y'all know me. Go check this lady out. Go, go check this lady Come out and family. sharing that. Heart your you. face, hold you close. And now that you're in my stream, we're all gangster up in here. Protato coming in with five gifted subs to Pret, Prelt, Beast Car, Brain Sock, Asteriana, and Sailor Spud. Protato, heart your face. Thank you so much. Holy cow. Holy cow. You guys, oh, I am just like, I am, I am, I'm like, uh, I, I, yeah, I, 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 where is my sub bar? Where do I have that? Come a family. I don't know. If I, I got. Oh, you. you know what? I was gonna redo it. I was gonna redo it. Hype train success. Wait, we had a hype train. A I didn't even see you. the hype train. Oh, I didn't miss it. Okay, I was like, Come I'm getting family. like the weird Let messages let on here. Oh my gosh, you guys! Thank you so much. Us spuds have got to stick together. And let me tell you right now, I have never met a potato I didn't like. Just let saying right there. You. you guys are absolutely awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Come meet a family. Now if we can just get Twitch in here. Now if we can just get Twitch in here. Good vibes up in here. Been away painting a newly printed sword. Ooh. Come meet a family. Uh, Talkie does these wonderful cosplay. 
and makes all of his own weapons and everything. It's really kind of neat. He's posted pictures in the Discord. If you guys have not joined the Discord, please join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. I have the recipes in there posted. We talk about games, if there's sale on games, if you're a PC gamer, a console gamer, if you're doing PS4, Xbox, I don't care, I'll take it. Thank you, dog, That's I appreciate that. She's a 1934 Magic Chef stove, to do exclamation point stove. She's over 88 years old, she's a little temperamental, but who isn't at that age, right? But I do cook on her exclusively. But definitely join the, definitely join the Discord, guys. Okay, I forgot how much of the, how much of the tahini do we need? We're gonna need a couple of, we're gonna need a couple of oh, 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 tablespoons oh, of that. that. What one just popped up over there? We got all these things that are popping in here so fast. Holy schmoly, holy oh, schmoly. The oh, bread oh, has six that? more minutes. We'll check it and see if it's gonna come out good. To be honest, your Klingon cosplay was awesome sauce. Oh, I, so for those that don't oh, know, so everybody, if you guys are here in, in stream right now, is on Sundays for the month of July, I'm doing all Star Trek. Let me show you, let me show you guys all. I'm very serious about my cosplay too. I haven't done it in years. I gotta move this because I don't want to get anything on it. So I um, I play a full battle Klingon. This is me. This is back in the 90s. I just got done making this outfit and I'm growling at this guy here. He dared to make eye contact with me. It's like, how rude, right? How dare a human make eye contact with me in my Klingon outfit? But oops, there we go. But that's me. This is in Pasadena at one of the conventions. And then we were later hired on there. And then here, we're putting on our makeup. I'm actually wiggling my nose to make sure my nose piece isn't going to come off. And this down here is Paul. And he was my cohort. And this guy here was a lookalike. Won so many competitions for the best James T. Kirk impersonation. He was even the same height. He was in the same height. But that's me. I'm a full battle Klingon. I am legit. So we're doing a Star Trek theme for the month of July. And this Sunday, it's Voyager. The only thing I still have left from my costume is I still have my Klingon blade. This is something I never got rid of. This is something that is my, is my baby. So you want to do a real weapon, Taki. This one's it. And this is, it's got an edge on it. So you can, you can see the edge on there. And then these blades, you can see how the light will catch the edge. These blades are just as sharp. These blades are just as sharp. So we had a lot. Of, so Cl uh, Kanar is my Klingon name. I've been a cosplay Klingon since the late 80s. I've been around a lot of years, guys. I did all my stupid stuff before there were cell phones, pictures, and the internet. Just pretty darn cool. Backwards emu, hello. Sorry, I got a jet out. Just got a call for a job interview. Bobby, go. Go, 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 go. Everybody, good vibes to Bobby. Good vibes to Bobby. Got to get that, got to get that out there. I know Oolong Cross, you just never know what you're going to get when you pop in this stream. Nobody knew I had tattoos for the last year and a half. And then today, bam! You just never know what's going to happen in here. Shapey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All the good vibes. All the good vibes. Okay, six minutes on that and we're going to get started on our, um, on our tahini. Back in the day when you had to watch movies on repeat to get the costume right. Oh my gosh. And you really couldn't read, you really couldn't watch a movie backwards on VHS. We did it, but it stretched the tape out, right? It was horrible. Blunt agent, the beerinator. Okay, beerinator, you and I need to hang out. You and I need to hang out. Oh my goodness. Gunther Gump, another great name. Leola Root Stew. Shapey, what kind of, um, is that a, a Star Trek based or a Star Trek themed uh, soup? We're cooking from, so just so you guys know what the book is that we're cooking from. And then on the 24th, if you do exclamation point collab, we're doing Deep Space Nine and we're collabing with Kalino 12 who makes cocktails. But this is the, this is the book we're cooking out of. And um, you guys all recognize Neelix over here. He was the chef on Voyager. So this is the one that we're actually cooking from. Oh my gosh, all these wonderful new followers. You guys, to all the followers who are coming in, you guys all have a seat at the infinity table now. Unlimited seating, you get to customize your chair. We have people over there in recliner chairs, bean bags, the swinging hammock chairs. I don't know who brought that in. Somebody's got the magic carpet over there, but it needs to be taken out and dusted a little bit. And it's brought to you in part by infinitytables.com. Not a real site, not sponsored, um, but yeah. I just felt my shoulder pop. Oh, I hate it when I, I hate it when I feel things pop like that. Luna Kitty, thank you so much. You keep me wondering, Kanara. Super careless. That's my job. That's my job. <laughs> Ethan Phillips. He really is, and so is Armin Shimmerman. Armin Shimmerman is another. He played Quark. He also played 
before he was Quark on DS9, he had two roles as a Ferengi on Star Trek Next Generation. I don't remember which one. Here's the thing, when you think about the people who complained about the food on Star Trek, how many of them actually have eaten real food and not replicated food? There's always room at the infinity table and if you can't find a seat, just pull up a chair. That's right. That's right, right there. I mean, I, I love, I love the shit. Okay, so um, be careful when you pick up your tahini. Tahini is sesame seeds that are all ground up and it's done in, in like a paste format. This is part of the stuff that's gonna go inside your hummus. We're making dill pickle hummus today. Everything today is pickle palooza because we didn't get to can our pickles. We're all doing pickle palooza. Seiko Falouk, he was a part of the original Ferengi. Okay, oh, when they, when they, when they uh, Farpoint, was that the one when they met them the first time? We're gonna add about, I'm gonna go with, we're gonna start with two good tablespoons of tahini. This is what's gonna make your hummus very smooth. I like tahini, get good, you know, if you're making hummus, get good, get good tahini, get good tahini. Yeah, was it at Far Point? That's the first time we saw the, um, the energy whips. I'm a goober, I wanna make pizza shaped as the Enterprise. Do it. You might have to make it like in different sections on there. Oh, oh, it has this question, uh, question. So when I make my yogurt, I use Ripple pea milk, a container or two of Siggy Sky and some Splenda and then Instapot do its thing. I remember getting scolded about doing it that way. I can't remember. Well, it, it doesn't do it. It's not, it's not that you're doing anything wrong, but, but traditional yogurt is just two ingredients, starter and, and milk. You heat the milk up to 185 degrees. If you want a thicker yogurt at the end, you want to hold that 185 degrees for at least five minutes. So you might have to keep zapping it in the microwave for about you know 30 seconds watch the temperature, when it starts to drop down, throw it back in there, get it back up to that 185 and hold it there. And that's how you're gonna get your Greek yogurt and you're still gonna strain it at the end. Oop, hang on, our timer's up. Let me check our, our bread. But the um, just plain old yogurt is, is a very, it's one of the easiest things to, to make. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go we're gonna go five more minutes and then I'll put the cheese on it. All right, five and start. Okay, it's, it's almost there. And you don't need more starter. If you're doing, so when I do mine, I have the little Mrs. Dash yogurt maker. That, one's, that one only makes three cups of milk. To that, I heat the milk up to 185 degrees. Then I, I, then I pour that milk into a metal bowl and then that metal bowl sits in ice to quickly cool it down, to bring it down to 110 before you add your starter. If you add your starter when it's too high, you're gonna kill off all your probiotics. So you wanna get it down to about 110 degrees and then add your, add your starter and just kind of start really get it mixed up, put it into your yogurt machine, set it and forget it. Minimum of 10 hours for the fermentation for yogurt. So yogurt is also a lacto-fermentation. If you want something more of that tang, and when I do my yogurt now, I use an entire half gallon of milk in my Instant Pot. And to that one, I will add a full half a cup of starter, but it's the same principle. I heat the milk up to 185 degrees. I hold it there for about five minutes. I cool it down to 110. I try to get it about 109. Add in my starter, mix, 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 pour it into the Instant Pot, set it for yogurt, and I set my yogurt for 12 and a half hours. We like it a little more tangy, a little more tangy, so. Uh, what's your milk rate? What's your milk to starter ratio, Jane? And why is it that we heat the milk? Good question. We're heating the milk up to bind the protein molecules together. That's what thickens our yogurt. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a very runny yogurt. And a lot of people think they have to cook it longer, and that's not the case. It means it wasn't prepped right the first time. By heating the milk up, we're binding those proteins together, so now instead of, instead of those proteins going, hey, 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 how you doing? You guys doing good? You guys doing good? Now all of a sudden, this, now they're holding hands. And, and, they're, and, they're, and so now they're all like, all right guys, you ready to do this? We're gonna be yogurt. You know, now they're all happy together so that when you add in your, your inoculant and you add in your, your probiotic yogurt, pre-made yogurt, and you can use some of your own yogurt as starter later on. Now that yogurt 
begins to grow those probiotics, which fill in all those gaps and give you all that good, st all that good stuff. Aspie, no, I did not. I wonder if I should try that with pea milk. I am not familiar with it. So when you're doing, if you're doing a plant-based milk, you have to inoculate it with a plant-based yogurt. So you can't take cow's milk to start your fermentation on yogurt and add an almond-based yogurt or a soy-based yogurt for your probiotic. It, it will not work. Those are two different proteins and they don't, they don't play well with each other inside there. Sergeant Sokum, welcome on in. Thank you so much for that follow. Uh, hang on here real quick, Aspie. You know what it's like when I get to take giant pickles, cut them in half, scoop them out, and then stuff the inside. Oh, I would love that, Aspie. Aspie, that would make a really good appetizer. They did, they did, Seiko. Then that was one of the things when we finally got to get some insight to the, to the Ferengi, right? We finally got to see some of their culture, some of their history, and why they are the way they are. That was the neat thing about the entire Star Trek genre was that we really learned a lot about, a minute, we really learned a lot about the different um, life entities and life forms. And we did the same thing on Star Wars. But I will say this, without Star Trek, there'd be no Star Wars. And if you look in your phone and you go to your little emoticons, your standard emoticons aren't there, we do have the live long and prosper. We don't have a lightsaber. Just saying, just gonna put that on there. Yeah, I like that idea, Aspia, of scraping that out. That just sounds good. Oh, Lori, are you still here? I gotta find out, hang on. If Lori is still here, I gotta tell her because uh, Derek really liked that. We, ha we had the chicken uh, yesterday and really liked that sauce. And then we, we did it. We put it, on the, we put it on the rice. So we took the chicken and kind of, I just barely warmed the chicken up. We put the chicken on top of the rice and then poured that sauce over the top of that. He was like, this is good sauce. I went, I know. Because at first I said, oh, yes, it's Lori's grandmother's recipe. He goes, but our grandmas didn't cook like really good foods. I said, try it. Just try it. And he's like, this is like really good. Mm, you're welcome. <laughs> was great for Ferengi Lori. Yes. Nog was a secret. I have to agree with you 100% on that. I have to agree with you 100% on that. Okay, we got our garlic in there. We do have our garlic in there. Oh, let's get some salt in here. We might need a little bit more. I'm also going to add some pepper. There is our timer. We're going to... All right, so now we're going to put on some of our cheese. If I pack hot turkey in an insulated lunchbox, how long is it okay for? Um, you're, you're going to be pushing it at two hours. You, you'll, you'll be pushing it at two hours. And at two hours, you need to completely unwrap it and get it to a refrigerator post haste. Particularly if it's gonna be in that danger zone. If it drops down, remember anything over 40 degrees, 40 degrees, 141 degrees, all that right inside there, that is the danger zone for all foods, processed foods even. So the minute you wash, cut, slice, dice, put it into a container, it's now considered a processed food. It's been touched by your hands. We've washed off the bad bacteria, but we've also washed off the good bacteria. So anything, and when you're holding at that temperature, um, the real dangerous temperature is between 60 and 80. Brandon, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. I would recommend you taking it chilled and heating it up there. So we're just gonna put a little bit of, the, this is my fake cheese. I'm gonna save the rest of this cheese because I wanna have it for the pizza. We're making, we're making cheeseburger pizza. Extra pickles. All right, we'll just put a little bit on there. Nommy, 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 nommy. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. Here's where we're at so far. Now we're gonna set this to broil. Come on, no, wrong one, there we go. I'm gonna put this on broil. It's not gonna be on there very long. It's gonna to beep too real quick because, we, oh, sorry about that guys. And so did Renee Aubergine. So he's another one of those that's more of a classical type actor that I never, I never thought was going to be, I would see on um, Star Trek. 
Thank you for educating us on safe food tents. I live in Hawaii and people just don't get it here. Yeah, it's, and you get people, and you get the, the, the it's called survivalism theory, where people say, I've been doing it for years and I've never been sick. Have you ever gotten the 24 hour flu where you're throwing up or you've got the other going at the other end? Have you ever gotten, and they're like, oh yeah, you got food poisoning because there is no such thing as a 24 hour flu. No such thing. Flu is short for influenza. That's an upper respiratory, upper respiratory, upper respiratory. Um, we need to have, we need some more pickle juice. We need some more pickle juice. Where did my quarter cup go? Mrs. Window. Mrs. Window coming in here, taking out. I blame Mrs. Window for everything, whether she's here or not. If anything goes missing in my stream, I blame it on Mrs. Window. I don't know why. I've known Mrs. Window for several years. I feel safe in blaming Mrs. Window. <laughs> I feel safe on there. Don't get me started on the survival things. Oh, there's, when it comes to food, there's so many people, particularly when it comes to canning, I get so many people who sit there and go, I made a, a salsa recipe that my grandmother has made for years and canned it, and I went ahead and canned it, um, but I just wanted to, I just want to make sure it was safe. Why didn't you call me before you started canning? And then you tell them, no, it's not safe. And, and there's a reason why it's not safe. And you go through all the stuff and you tell them why it's not safe. And then they're like, but you know, we've been doing this for years. Well, obviously you had doubt because otherwise you wouldn't have called me to ask if it was safe. You had doubts. You called me. This is what I do. This is, this is how I, 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 I can, I do all this stuff. I'm gonna take out this peppercorn only because I don't want this peppercorn to accidentally get into the hummus and um, DS9, I will say DS9 was the darkest of all of the, the Star Trek TV series um, programming. I really enjoyed Voyager because the only, the only people we were familiar with were the people on the ship. Everything else was brand spanking new. But on DS9, you know, we, we, saw, we saw a couple of the cast members from uh, Star Trek Next Generation show up. And that's why I really enjoyed Voyager. Plus I had a female captain. So what's not to like about that? All right, so we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of our pickle juice. So these pickles are gonna be for the, uh, the, cheeseburger, the cheeseburger hamburger. All right. So we're gonna take that, we did that, we did that. Add the chicken, the pickle juice, blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna slice up some of these pickles. We're not gonna put the pickles in when we process it. We're gonna add the pickles in after the fact. Jane, was just another person, another person Q got. Q was, an, Q was an interesting entity. He really was. All right, so for those of you who have your, your earbuds in, your headphones on, or whatever, I suggest you pull them away. I'm gonna start the food processor here. It shouldn't be too loud, but I just like to give you guys a heads up and a little bit of a, a little bit of a warning. This process is up pretty darn quick, which is nice. I need to get a small, we're gonna make up our sauce. So our sauce, by the way, guys, for our, we're not, we're not doing a typical tomato sauce. So our sauce for this pizza, cause it's a cheeseburger pizza, is gonna be a combination of the homemade ketchup that we did on Wednesday. That mustard is still curing, so I'm just gonna use some regular French mustard. And then we're also gonna be using our own ranch dressing. Nami, nami, nami. Cause I, uh, Voyager seemed very disjointed, okay. What made it seem disjointed to you? And I think that was what was part of the charm was that they were, okay, my thing's getting stuck. They were disjointed. You know, they got flung clear out of everything they were familiar with. Let's see where we're at on flavor. I'm not gonna add more salt, but I am gonna add a little bit more pickle juice. That's where we're gonna get our salt from. Not a lot, cause I don't want it too runny. Oop, and our bread is done. Oop. Let's take that out. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so we're gonna let this cool in the pan. I'm gonna put this onto a trivet. There, look at that. Look at the little crispy bits of the cheese. 
We're gonna let this cool for a little bit in here. Then we're gonna take this out of the pan and we will, um, we're gonna slice it up and enjoy it. I'm way behind. I haven't watched any of the new Star Trek shows. Actually, I can just set that there. I don't have my stove on today. It can sit, it can just sit over there and cool because I don't have Paramount, so I don't have any of the, any of the new stuff. Thank you for the warning. I, yeah, I try to give warnings now because I've been in stream for that's happened. And then of course, unconsciously, I've done it to stream. And it's like, no, have to give a little warning. So I'm gonna be doing it again. So if you guys have on headphones, pull away your headphones. If you have earbuds in, you might wanna pop them out so that you don't, um, am I adding any? No, no, yes, yes. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. It's not too loud, I don't think. What is that, a sling? Yes, so I just put, we sprayed the inside of our pan with some cooking spray, and then I cut a piece of paper that fits directly straight down, uh, parchment paper, straight down across and straight up. That makes it, and I do that when I do brownies, and then you can just kind of loosen it from the edge, and then you can just lift it straight out, and that way it helps you avoid sticking on the bottom. But then also make sure that you, um, sorry, also make sure that you, spray the top of that paper too so it peels off cleanly off the bottom of your um we like Picard we like Discovery but I haven't finished either we have a, that reminds me I gotta add Orville to our list thank you Seiko thank you because the Orville when we watch the Orville that, that show cracked us up guys that cracked us up all right so you can see how creamy this is I'll Come meet our family. let us meet you Miguel, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. How did you find the stream and where are you watching from? If you guys join the Discord, on the Discord, oh, I just, hang on. I don't want that to sit on the floor. On the Discord right below the general station. Hang on, I'll wash my hand. On, right below the general station is a where are you from? And if you put in there where you're from, I have a working 3D map in there and I will add your, so you can see how, how quickly this gets all nice and creamy. Now we're gonna add some delicious pickles. So this isn't gonna be a super creamy because we're gonna be adding some chunks of pickles in here. I'm so sad I didn't get to, I didn't get to can pickles today. And there will be stuff that I will be canning that I won't be able to do on stream because I may have too much to do. But my goal is to be is to be canning every Friday through season. I still have a lot of tomatoes to do. I've got to contact them to find out when their tomatoes are going to be ripe. I need to make a lot more pickles. So the pickles we're going to do three ways. We're going to do a fermented pickle and that's going to take about four weeks to ferment. So we'll start it and then we'll we'll go through the process of that. We're gonna do quick pickles, which is when we take our cucumbers and we put them into the jar, we put a hot brine over them, we put them into a water bath canner, and then we're gonna do a fast pickle. And those are the pickles that you kind of brine up ahead of time, you know, let them sit off to the side, you prep everything for dinner, and then you serve them for dinner that night. Currently re-watching DS9, there you go. All right. I'm gonna eat that a little bit. Mm, that last little bit of pickle juice is perfect. But now what's gonna make this even better is we're gonna be adding, oh, thank you, Keen. We're gonna be adding chunks of little pickle inside this hummus so that every time we take a bite, we get a little bit of a, that briny goodness. I'm telling you. I even like the tahini, just the straight, the way it is. I have a hard time getting past the first season of DS9. I hear a lot, I hear that a lot from people who also watch uh, Supernatural. And I tell them, and somebody told it to me and I didn't listen and I wish I had, so I'm telling you, somebody told it to me is on Supernatural, you can skip the entire first season and the second season, and then it starts to get good. I've been watching Voodoo for the sale of Star Trek and their sale is okay, but I'm waiting till Christmas because sometimes they have a better, a better sale at Christmas time. I couldn't do the Enterprise, okay. I love the first two seasons because it was more individual. That's what I think is the coolest thing about the Star Trek 
genre is that we had the original Star Trek, so people watch it for nostalgia. Next Generation, DS9, Voyager. We have the new Star Trek things coming out. I think to me, Star Trek had more diversity than Star Wars. Now, don't get me wrong; I enjoy Star Wars. I, I've watched, I've watched, you know, a lot of the Star Wars, and I, and I do enjoy it. I don't enjoy it as much as Star Trek. Supernatural, yeah, just yes, yeah, sk yeah. Skip season one, definitely skip season one, one hundred percent. It's the actors, and it's really neat because when you watch them in later seasons, that's when you realize, yeah, didn't need to um, watch season one because. The actors are just getting to know each other. They haven't kind of learned how like to work with each other. And after time, you can see that they're able to work with each other. They're having fun. They're beginning to banter because they've become friends. And it, it's it's more real feeling. You know, they, they actually feel like brothers, even though they don't look like brothers. But we're just gonna dice these up, kind of small. Who here doesn't like dill pickles, but likes sweet pickles? That's something I'd like to know. But that's how I feel about Seven of Nine. They just brought in Seven of Nine for some eye candy on Voyager. That I will agree with. That I will agree with. But when we talk, and when we talk about, I mean, we, we've learned, I think we learned more about the Borg through uh, Star Trek Next Generation than we did through Voyager. I eat dill pickle flavor things until my mouth hurts. You know, Beerinator, I went to, this was, this was pre-COVID. I had gone to Sonic, which is like a drive through car hop thing. You get burgers and hot dogs and fries. And, and they have like their, their ices, like what 7-Eleven has. And they had the dill pickle one. I was like all excited with the beautiful green. I was like, oh yay, I took one sip and couldn't eat it. It was, it was a lot like Thunder Squid Thursday. Thunder Squid Thursday, thank you so much for that raid. Oh my goodness, Raiders, welcome in. My name is Kanara. I'm a food and drink streamer here on Twitch. We are doing Pickle Palooza today. I was supposed to be canning pickles, but cucumbers weren't available yet. So we are doing everything with pickles. We just got done making a loaf of pickle bread. I'm working on some pickle hummus and we're gonna get started here pretty soon on our cheeseburger, um, cheeseburger pizza with extra pickles. We have to have extra pickles. We were just talking about Star Trek because we, on Sundays this month, I am doing a theme of, of Star Trek and this Sunday we're doing Voyager. So it's gonna be fun. Bosh off, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness gracious guys. We are getting, we're getting closer and closer to our, our 5,000 goal. I mean, we're still a ways off. We're not like, oh my gosh, we're like right there. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that too. I wouldn't lie to you on that. Oh my gosh, Bosh off. Bosh off. That emote, the three part emote. It would be so funny if the buns were animated. I heard a lot of people got their twerking emotes removed. I was like, man, some of those are really cute. I don't think of a twerk. I'm PG 13 and I didn't even think the twerking emotes were bad. One guy got, he had 14 different type of like emotes that were, I guess, considered twerking or something like that and had all 14 of them removed. I was like, oh, and I don't know, maybe somebody complained, you know, that's what I have to think it is because even I look at that and I think Twitch probably looks at that and thinks, you know, um, we don't care. But somebody, somebody probably wasn't happy. I have a clench emote. <laughs> that is classic. That is classic. Vicariously through you. How are you doing? I am doing great. I'm going to use this one because I use that to take the. So we have our. We have our. Oh, hang on, guys. Hang on. That is my. That is my mom. That is my mom. Let's see how she's doing. Uh, all the good luck. Got all the counter on the first digging, so she didn't have to go back in for a second digging, guys. Uh, the shots were not too bad. Bandage up, have to apply ice, and may have a black eye by morning. That's okay. Outstanding news. Uh, 
Everyone here is so happy. Yay, that's good news. That's good news. Yeah, I was, I was my mom's had a lot of different skin cancers removed off her, off her face. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, what kind of crackers? What should I serve? There? Oh, wait, do I still have some? Welcome to the Rave Pantry. What are these in here? Yep, yeah, these are simply naked pita chips. Simply naked pita chips. Thank you for that lurk, Aspie. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Well, Raiders, welcome on in. My goodness gracious. Right down there is my logo. You need to click on the logo. That just takes out the raid URL and brings you directly back into my, into my stream. So Thunder Squid, you were streaming a game. I gotta pull up my britches. Gotta pull up my, I, cause I've never heard of, of, of Wilder Myth. So I'm assuming that's a game. Everybody can do the whole thing. Yeah, if you have dancing emotes, let's see. The, Anybody who has dancing emotes, cute animated dancing emotes, let's put those up in there. I want to see that. Let's see how this tastes. Flood the chat. This is the one time we want you to spam the dancing emotes. All right, I want to see how this is going to taste. Fellows, is that a pickle? Mmm. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is really, we're gonna add a little more salt to brighten that pickle flavor. I'm glad I only did one, one clove of garlic. That was plenty. Ninby, hello, welcome on in. It is so wonderful having you all here. I'm telling you. You guys are here for the for the the tattoo reveal. A lot of people didn't even know I had tattoos. And then of course when people found out they're like, "Wait, Kanara has tattoos? No way. No way." I decided to make it a channel point redemption. And I thought chat was going to take their sweet time doing this and chat was like, mm, "No. We want to see it. We, we you you talk the talk, Kanara. Time to walk the walk." So what I am really curious I am really curious, is, is anybody here think that I didn't have tattoos and that I was, I was playing y'all? I'm really kind of curious. Be honest, I'm not going to be upset, but I wonder how many people thought she doesn't have tattoos. She's just saying, she's just saying she has tattoos. I have got tattoos. I got more on my back. My mom says, thanks to all of you. Much love back. I'm gonna send her little heart emotes because she loves little heart emotes. All right, let's see, now let's try this. This is gonna taste better when it sits in the fridge for a while. Oh, that was really, really good. Mm. Just cuz, just cuz, you're not the type. Yeah, I don't. If I say something, that's why I've always told people, because I've had people ask me questions on, on Discord and I get messages on, on Twitch as well. And I have to tell them I honestly don't know. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fake it till you make it type thing. If I know, I'll tell you. If you ask for my opinion, you'll get it. But I will tell you, if you ask for my opinion, you're going to get it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more pickle. I didn't think you did until you brought it up on stream. Oh, the tattoos, yeah. Well, I'm 48 and contemplating my first tattoo. Vampiric, what kind of tattoo? Do you have a theme? Do you have a drawing that you've done yourself? This is mine. I did this. He freehanded the leaves because he just matched my leaves there, which is great. Mm, mm, mm. That's a cute pickly moat. With a big old bite right out of it. I'm 50 and still dye my hair. I love that. Velos, I think that is fantastic. All right, we're gonna let this chill for a little bit more. Ooh, I like that, Jane. I'm gonna tell her that. Mom, after you get, after you get a black eye, I want you to go to the store with dad. I'm gonna say, oh, what happened to your R? Well, hubby and I were at a bar and somebody, 
looked at him cross-eyed, and it was game on. My mom and dad don't even go to a bar. DJ Skids, hello! But I look 30 to 35. Oh, I love that. I feel my age at times. Sometimes I feel my age after stream, particularly. And the reason for that is um, age. <laughs> but food and drink streamers, 99% of the time, we're standing on our feet the entire time. I take this toll. But that's all right. All right, I'm gonna put a little piece of saran on this just to keep it from forming a skin. We'll let that chill up. I'm gonna let that chill a little bit. I'm gonna put that dough in the refrigerator because I don't want it to overproof. How am I gonna get in the refrigerator? I have no idea. We're gonna take this out. All right, we're gonna put you here. We're gonna put you over here. You're empty because I gotta fill that up with a bottle. And let's see, we'll put you here. We'll put you there. Welcome to Refrigerator Tetris. <laughs> All right, I don't want this to overproof, so we're gonna put this in here. Okay, and we're gonna put you, you're gonna sit like that. Nailed it. Nailed it. Run to the fridge for a snack. Bring us all one. Bring us all one. I actually kind of miss being on my feet working. I can see that. Because when you feel like you're doing something, you're really productive and you're helping things out. I can see that. I actually waited until today to try and get the apple butter sent to me. DJ, I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. I am so glad you like that. And like I said, I grew those apples too. Mm, okay. I don't, I don't want to eat all of that. I don't want to eat all that. My mom is happy. I think she's happy because she's home or she's on her way home. When she's on her way home, I hope my dad stops and buys her a shake. Running machines. There is something about that, you know, that that feeling of when you're when you're productive and you're doing stuff. I need some mustard. Now I got to open this up carefully because I have. Um... All right. So this is our our homemade ketchup that we did. And we're gonna need about a half a cup. And you notice I'm being very careful to not touch the inside of the, the inside of a mason jar with a metal spoon, because you'll etch it. Mr. Slothman, thank you for that lurk. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Okay, now, um, oops. Ah, okay. Do, 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 do. Why am I closing this? Why do I, oh, that's because I had, I had Penta Stream open. Okay, that's why I had that on there. 10 more years and I'll be there. The wrenching on airplanes. Oh, were you like, like repairing them and, and fixing them? That's cool. And we need how much of the prepared mustard? Probably about a quarter of a cup of prepared mustard. Because what goes better on hamburger? So this is going to be our pizza sauce. Instead of doing a typical uh, tomato based sauce, we're going to be using, and I want to get this mixed up so it can start mixing. Is my redemption next Friday? It is, isn't it? Isn't it this Friday? I have to go into the Discord to find out. Um, where's where's my where's my channel? Um, I can't get in. I can't I can't see. Can you see the? How do you see the events on the phone? I can see create an event. 
but how do I see upcoming events? I don't know how to do that. Oh yes, anyway, on the 22nd, there we go. There we go. We're doing the brick oven chicken. And we're gonna be making, I believe they're called Duchess potatoes or Queen Anne's potatoes. But it's when you take mashed potatoes and you put them into a piping bag and you pipe them out, these beautiful spiral puffs, and then you bake them again. And the edges get this nice little crackly, oh. You just check the chat. Oh good, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm ready, the 22nd, I'm ready. And then the 24th, we're doing our collab with Kalino. That's gonna be a fun one. That is gonna be a fun one. So let's see how we're doing on the flavor here. Hmm. I think my, um, I think my ketchup needs a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put some salt in the jar so I don't forget. What were we doing for a veggie? MD. I know we were doing the potatoes, but what did we decide for a veggie? What did you want for a veggie? No, at four o'clock. In 40 minutes, it'll be three o'clock. Roasted broccoli, that's right. Nikki Antic, welcome on in. Thank you for that follow. We're raiding, we're raiding out to the Crown Channel today at four o'clock. B-Bubs is gonna be on there. I am so excited about that. We are rooting for, we are rooting for B-Bubs. We're gonna cook up our hamburger. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the entire pound of hamburger, but we're only gonna use about half of it. And this is 80-20 beef, so I don't even need to add any, I don't have to add any fat to it. But we're gonna season it up. We're gonna season it up with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then we're gonna make our, our pizza. But I wanna get you guys over there before four o'clock. So we got, we got plenty of time. We have an hour and a half. We have absolutely plenty of time. But I wanna get you over there before four o'clock because Active Chatters, uh, they're giving away gift cards. Yeah, they're giving away gift cards. And I want you guys in on it. I want you guys in on that. My nose is running, hang on guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, where, what happened to my tissue? So don't forget you guys on Sunday when we're doing our Star Trek, we're doing our, I'm continuing the pride celebration. So for those that don't know, I made, we had the, we had the rainbow yarn. So on Sunday, I'm giving away, I'm giving away the rainbow scarf. You throw it over your shoulder and look all like, all styling. This will be the giveaway on Sunday. Oops. My earrings sound like charms. So make sure you guys are here on Sunday. We start at noon Pacific daylight time. Oh yeah. Oh, what a, I was gonna say, oh my gosh. Am I really that behind? Nice rugby scarf, rainbow rugby scarf. There you go. I have made scarves for Harry Potter. Uh, one was for the house of Gryffindor. One was for the house of Slytherin. It was a husband and wife team. Oh, I made another one. Who's the other one I made? Oh, I made one for my daughter's girlfriend. I forgot about that one. There we go. It's one pound of hamburger. I don't know how much we're going to use. Probably, probably just a little over a half a pound. Slytherin is my house. I am also Slytherin. And I know that everybody thinks that Slytherin is bad, but they're not. They're not, they're, they're not, a, they're not a bad group of people. Hufflepuff, there we go. This scarf, you can work this scarf up in a couple hours. A lot of Hufflepuffs, wow. My hubby and best friend are both Slytherin. The best people I know are Slytherin. Emmy, thank you for that. I am Slytherin, I'm not gonna deny it. I'm not gonna deny it. So, I am not doing the pizza the way I normally do my pizza. Normally I do my pizza, I whip it all up. It goes out onto the Traeger at about 500 degrees, 
So, and it's way too hot to be turning her on to 500. I'd have to turn her on two and a half hours. I really don't want that on at 500 degrees when outside it's gonna be 90 something today. I'm like, oh, heck no. I thought I was Gryffindor. Then I tested Ravenclaw. I was surprised. My friends were like, of course you are. I can see Ravenclaw. I say that, but I really don't know a whole lot about Harry Potter. I do enjoy Harry Potter. Um, salt, salt. Season your ground meat. Season your ground meat. Season your ground meat. Because as it's cooking up, you want to get all that flavor in there. This is our onion. I am myself. I am always Gryffindor. No matter what test I take, don't fight it. Embrace who you are. Embrace who you are. All right, a little bit of... Now, to our sauce, we can do... We can do one of two things. I can either add it to the meat or I can add it to the sauce. Does anybody want red pepper flakes? Add a little bit of heat. My Harry Potter themed clock I made has been chiming away every hour now. What song does it play, Keen? I'm kind of curious. Pictures or it never happened. There you go. I like it spicy. What's the sound that the, um, what's the sound that little gold ball makes when it's caught? The snitch, the sneech? What is that little, what is that, first of all, what is that little ball called? <laughs> snitch, thank you. I'm not, I'm over here talking about things, I'm not even calling them, I'm not even calling them the right, the right vernacular or the right verbiage. Good going, Kanar, the golden snitch. I've got the golden snitch. And snitch just sounds like a really bad word to use because when I think of a snitch, that's somebody who's like a tattletale. And I gotta turn on my fan. That's somebody who's a tattletale and, you know, gives you up when you're, you know, you got a secret you gotta keep because, you know, maybe you snuck out and whatever. That's, that's somebody has snitched on me. Yeah, I like it spicy, scared me. Can you imagine what it would be like to actually play Quidditch? Wait, is it Quidditch? Am I getting, okay, am I getting that one right at least? I'm okay. Am I at least getting Quidditch right because I wanna make, you know what? Can somebody, can somebody go on to my Discord and under stream ideas, can somebody just type in the word Harry Potter? Maybe we should do a Harry Potter theme. What do you guys think? We could do, maybe I can find themed foods and we do foods from Gryffindor, foods for Hufflepuff, foods for Slytherin, and we can do something like that. What do you guys think? Would that, <laughs> Jane's like, I'm in, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, okay, we should do Harry Potter. Jane, you wanna collab? All right, we can collab. Um, I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be a fun thing to do. I think we need to do a Harry Potter theme. I'll do it. I'll do an entire theme for the month of Sundays. I'm for the month for the month of Sundays. For those of you that don't know, there's an entire month just of Sundays. It's the 13th month of the year. But I'll do it. I'll do an entire month of Sundays where we're doing Harry Potter. And Jane, we'll pick one of those days and we'll do a Harry Potter. I would rather have a month of Saturdays. Then that's your 13th month. Your 13th month could be a month of Saturdays. Apparently I'm doing an entire month of Sundays. Doby do Doby do Doby do Dale. Doby, did you get a sock? Did you get a sock? As a newly licensed preacher, that sounds utterly exhausting. Then you get Saturdays. You get Saturdays, Jane. When do you, when do you, do they, okay, do they call it like pasture ship? Is that, I get my pasture ship and then I'm a pastor? I don't know how that works. Stranger Things could be chocolate chip cookies. I still need to watch the newest season. I started, I watched season one and two. I started season three. The first two episodes were very dark. And then I got, I got really, really busy doing some other stuff. And, it haven't, and then I, I got to watch the new stuff out. Christmas light cookies. 
But we could do, we could, oh, there goes my monitor again. My monitor's been, my monitor was fine for the longest time, and now it's like, oh, and now it's, it's wigging in and out. T-Bear, hello, nice to see you. It's always good to have, it's always good to have friends and family in the chat. And all the new followers today, you're all now part of Canara's Kitchen. You're all part of the fam. You're all part of the fam. I suppose it could, oh, monitor, please. Okay. I don't know why, I don't know why it's doing it. It's like on and off and on and off. I suppose it could be considered a pastorate. Okay. But actual pastors run a church and I don't want to. That said, I might co-pastor someday. Could pastors be um, counselors? Like you could be a pastor counselor, and maybe while well, you know the other pastors running the church and doing that, you could be the counselor. So if people want to come in and speak with a pastor on counseling, you know, and particularly if it's a, if particularly if it's in a church that you go to and the people are familiar with you, they would have no problem, you know, coming up and talking to you. My poor little brain has broken. Don't worry, I'll find some crazy glue. We can fix it. I'm a minister, one step down. You can have a pastor counselor with special training, okay. So much to learn. So much to learn, folks, so much to learn. Hi, how about making some of the unusual candies from Harry Potter? I have never made candies. That take, that's, that's a whole next level because you have to temper the sugar doesn't mean we can't try it. Doesn't mean we can't try it. I'm Panda, thank you so much for that lurk. Heart your face. Heart your face so much. I do have a recipe for butterbeer. I do have a recipe for butterbeer. Butter beer. Um, I think I have it in, do I have it in my um, paprika? If you guys are not using paprika app, exclamation point paprika. Be back, dinner needs, go for it, go for it. The Paprika app, you can get the free one on the phone. It gives you X amount, of like 25 recipes you can input it, but it's real cheap on the phone. But I also bought a license for my computer. That's where I do all my recipe work, all my menu planning, my grocery list, everything. It automatically syncs to my phone. It is fantastic. Okay, let's see if I, if I have that on here. I don't have that one on here. Somebody might have emailed it to me. Somebody might have emailed it to me. I've made, oh, you did? Jetta, how did it come out? Was it good? There's the app right there, guys. They have it for Mac, PC, iOS, and Android. And I'll tell you, it's the best recipe app I have used thus far. And I've used a lot of them, just like I've used a lot of spice companies. And now I'm an affiliate with the Spice House because of how good their spices are. But that Paprika app, it's a game changer. It's really nice because you can be in the grocery store and you think, oh, I was gonna make, I was gonna make that pickle bread. I know I need pickles, but what else do I need? Boom, you have all your recipes right there in your hand. You can look at all the ingredients. You can say, add all these ingredients to my shopping list. It will automatically put it into your shopping list. Uh, Keen, do you have a copycat recipe? Leah, how are you doing today? Nice to see you. My, my, my thing keeps going in and out, so I do apologize when I'm delayed on the, you know what we're gonna have to do? As soon as I can grab oh, this, did you see that? this chat, I'm tired of it doing that. I'm gonna have to put my chat back over here, guys, because I can't, I can't see. There we go. I'll just, I don't know why this chat's being, oop, come on. I can't grab, no. Grab it, grab it. There we go. All right. Rusty Rhymes, Rusty Rhymes in the house. How are you doing? Rusty coming in with a resub, 14 months. Rusty, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. I've had to move my, my chat over here. The monitor here is not functioning. It keeps it blipping in and out, in and out, in and out. And I don't know if it has something to do with where it's plugged in. I'm, I need to try and troubleshoot that. But Rusty, now you got the tats. Now you can see the tats. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. We showed it. We demoed it. Right now, I'm just browning up some hamburger. We're going to put that into a bowl. We'll put our hamburger in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to roll out this pizza dough. I need to get a rolling pin out. Because the toppings are going to be wet, so look, we're doing the ketchup and mustard sauce. We've got some onions that are going to be going on there, some cheese, 
some hamburger. This is gonna be a heavy pizza. I'm gonna par-bake the dough a little bit. I'm gonna par-bake the dough a little bit. Uh, two or three, but none of them been close. Oh, compared to the butter bill you had at Universal? I am sure that they're not, they're not gonna reveal that recipe because that's, you know, that's a big... Um... Dually needles! Dually needles, oh my goodness gracious. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you so very much, Dually needles. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. That is so incredibly generous of you to donate to the stream. It all goes towards groceries. All, everything in there goes towards groceries right now. We are, we are all feeling the pinch of, of the current um, economy situation. And guys, the recession's gonna get worse before it gets better. So learn how to can your own foods and you can save a fortune of money. My, the hummus I just made today, average cost, the chickpeas, I bought four bags of chickpeas, probably, probably about 50, 60 cents to make your own hummus. I missed the tat reveal. Here's the tat. You want me to put the shirt back on and take the shirt back off? <laughs> so this is, I got this tattoo here when I graduated from culinary school. It says food creates the memories that feed us. That's my own tagline. I, I probably should copyright it, whatever. So that just kind of represents food. This represents my family. We're a small bunch. We're very tight and close together. And, but some have passed away and they have fallen away from the vine. So they're done in the autumn colors with their initials but they're never forgotten. So they're always here in my heart. So this is my family tattoo. I have a gargoyle on my back. I'll have my daughter take a picture of that as soon as she uh, comes into, uh, comes, uh, comes home to, comes home to Oregon. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get this to, I'm gonna try and put this back over here. But thank you so very much for that, Dooley Needles. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. I need hummus, I love hummus. This is gonna taste even better when it chills down. This will be better the next day when that dill pickle flavor really infuses those chickpeas. Yes, yes. So I do, I, so now it feels weird to be on here with short sleeves because so many people didn't know that I had tattoos. A lot of people didn't know. And I mentioned it one day and they're like, wait, no, Kenora has tattoos. And so I thought, well, let's make it a channel point redemption. And uh, all right, will your daughter be on stream with you? Yes. Yeah, she'll be on stream. She'll come on stream. She will be on stream with me on, hang on, let me check the dates. Let me check the dates. Oh, get off of that. Wait, no. I have fresh dill stuck to my screen. I couldn't see it. She will be on stream with me. Oh, wait a minute. What time does her come plane come in? I gotta check sometimes. I might have to shimmy a stream. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Sweeties, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Now I can be more comfortable in hot weather. It was a double, it was a double thing. You guys, I thought, you know what? I thought, let's, let's, let's show that I, that y'all think you know me. And then, oh, just when you think you know me and you're walking away, whoosh, we're gonna reel you back in. <laughs> I have a container of beef drippings. I'm gonna start making, I'm making once around the kitchen. Okay, so how much beef drippings do you have? Because I will tell you, if it's, if it's like the gelatinous beef drippings that has the collagen and the fat added into it, let me tell you, if you saute your vegetables in that first, get it on high, saute it to where it kind of browns them and toast them a little bit, then put them off to the side, let them cool, and then at the very last, then put, it's gonna add so much flavor. A Pyrex bowl full, oh my gosh, you're gonna have all the good flavor. That would be considered tallow. If you strain it real good, it's, it's, you can, you'd call it tallow. All right, we're gonna strain our, I'm gonna strain our, our meat here because I don't want it to, um, we don't want all the extra fat. That's gonna be, oops. It's 80-20, which means we're gonna render out some fat. Let me get a plate over here so we can do that. All right, not much fat from steaks. True, unless you're doing something like a ribeye, it's got that big fat thing through it, but then that usually gets eaten with a steak, so. All 
Actually, I'm gonna put this back here. Ooh, I can smell this bread again. It's, it's not, I mean, I can hold it so it's not burning my hand. It's lifting out real nice, so I'm not worried about that. Sirloin tip was on mega sale. Gosh, when you get good sales like that, you wanna grab them. So right now, I'm just kind of breaking up the hamburger to make sure that all the pieces are about the same size. I don't want one big old chunk of hamburger over here. So yeah. I say anytime you can save drippings from, from meats, particularly if your meats aren't, aren't seasoned with something very, very spicy, makes the best stuff to do like potatoes in and do like cooked potatoes. Oh, I just love that. Hey, Mr. Redbeer, how are you doing today? And where are my pictures? Mm-hmm. Waiting for you. Come on. In the Discord. Chop, chop. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get in there. It sounds really wrong that I'm stalking people's children. But they live a, they live way, way far away, so it's okay. I'm allowed to do that. House has been sick. The last time you said that the house was sick. But I understand. I understand. All right, so we're just going to get this kind of chopped up, drained out, so you guys can see here the... So this I just put into a colander, just put a couple paper towels on the bottom. You can see that even with this, there was a little bit of, you can see it's, it's you know, this is pretty, this is heavy. So we can fill that in there. So I don't want to have that on my, I don't want to have greasy meat on my pizza. One thing I hate about pizzas, and this is why I don't like pepperoni pizza. I will never put pepperoni on my pizza ever, ever, ever. Because I don't like the, um, the little puddles of fat. You know how the, the, the pepperoni kind of curls up and it gets that little pool of fat in the middle because pepperoni is very, very fatty. I don't want all that fat. It's like, no. It's like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Lala is here. The life of children, that is so true. Pepperoni gives me heartburn. I will say my store was selling the, like the small little perfect, like what size, like a size of a quarter pepperoni. And it was the low fat and it was made from turkey. And we ate it, so I never get it. Oh no, that was salami. Okay, ignore me. Hides the pepperoni pizza. No, if you like the pepperoni pizza, go for it. I can't do things with high fat. So I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I'm not feeling this as being enough sauce. pondering that. I'm pondering that. Uh, pineapple pizza is the way to my heart. I don't do pineapple on my pizza either. I don't want fruit on my pizza. I'm not saying that people are wrong for eating pineapple on their pizza. That's what they want to eat. That's what they want to eat. I made jam from my garden. <gasps> what kind of jam did you make, Redbeard? Is that the, that's the ketchup from the last stream. So we took, we took the ketchup that we made from last stream. I have it in mason jars. And I'm, I'm storing my little ferments and everything in my Twitch refrigerator in my office. So that's where all those are all going. Crochet, they are confusing at first. Um, Vantage, look up on YouTube, whatever it is that you want to crochet. But <clears throat> look up from a group that's called either Bag O'Day Crochet or the Crochet Crowd. Those are the two that have some of the best videos that will take you from the very beginning of the project all the way to the very end of the project. I love pineapple on my pizza. My husband hates it. All right, there you go. I follow both of those channels. They're, they're good channels to follow for, for, for doing that crochet project, yeah. Pineapple fits ham and chicken, but I can see that I can see I'm not a big fruit person, but I can see the pineapple, particularly if you're having something on like the Canadian ham, which is very salty. So you've got that salty sweet action going on. Plus you have the acidity from the pineapple. Remember, we've talked about We've talked about acids as related to high fat foods for a long time. So yeah, I have used a bag a day with a bag a day with one virtuous woman. She's got some great patterns on there though. I will say really good patterns. She was the one that I learned how to make the, um, a vest with. It was awesome. I think it's a horrible waste, waste of good blue cheese. 
blue cheese on pizza. Okay, Tiger, hear me out. Tiger, what if we have a, a much richer tomato-based sauce, right? Uh, matter of fact, let's put some Maggie sauce in there. Let's put a little Worcestershire sauce in, into that and get a really good, rich tomato base. For our meat, let's take some of our, um, maybe we've had beef bourguignon, which is a, a, a stewed beef or braised beef actually in red wine, but we take a good, rich beef that's been seared really good and then stewed in red wine and beef stock. And we kind of shred that up a little tiny bit and put that on there. Maybe the beef even has a little bit of balsamic vinegar in it. Not a lot, just a hint. You can really overdo balsamic vinegar. And how about some shallots, some arugula and blue cheese. Rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb, black currant, Saskatoon and Juliet cherries. Dang, Lala. It'd be like a comfort pizza, smoked prime rib pizza. Now remember guys, I am taking the brisket out this Sunday. Hopefully I can, hopefully it'll thaw in time, but I'm taking the brisket out this Sunday. I have to smoke the brisket off stream because it's going to take anywhere between 16 and 28 hours for me to smoke it. So that'll be completely smoked off stream. My hope is I can take the brisket off the day of stream about nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. So I will smoke it the entire day and night before and wrap it up. We'll put it into the ice chest. It'll sit in there for about two hours. Then we're gonna take, we'll unwrap that brisket. We'll slice into it, but I wanna do a brisket pizza. I wanna do brisket nachos. If you guys got other brisket ideas you wanna do, maybe a brisket poutine. Putin, gosh darn it. Why do I keep saying that wrong? I may have to get some more pickles out. I have to see how many of these, I have to see if, if we have enough on these. Now I have done a prime rib roast in my oven. I've not done it on my Traeger yet. I can't imagine how much those cost right now though. We did do a pulled pork pizza with barbecue sauce and that was a day, okay, that was funny. That was, I'm trying to think, that was early in my streaming, my streaming career because I'm so fancy and I'm so famous. Can't even say that with a straight face. Um, and a guy named Robbie from the UK, he plays those like the online soccer games and stuff like that. has a has a huge following. And that was my first um, raid, and it was like 112 people. And I was like, holy cow! I blown away by that. Blown away by that. It's funny the things you remember. And up. Uh, there we go. Like we are 30 followers away from having 4,800 followers. That is mind blowing to me. Absolutely mind blowing to me. That was before I found you. Well, then we'll have to do it again. We'll have to do it again. Techie, happy Friday to you. I'm going to definitely need more pickles. It's not going to be enough pickles. We said we we're doing a hamburger pickle. I mean, a hamburger sandwich, a hamburger pizza with extra pickles. All right, are these my other pickles in here? Wait, I gotta move. No, nope, those are my sweet pickles. That's right, sweet are always separate from my dills. Then where are my other baby dills at? Are you my baby dills? No. Where are my baby dills? Did I eat them all up? No. No, hold the phone now. I know that I'm out of, I know that I'm out of my spicy pickles. What was that one? No, that's sweet relish. Oh wait, what are you? No, nope. I've got to go to my stash. I'm going to be rewatching the vlog. So Techie, I was hoping to be canning pickles today and alas, I'm not. I couldn't get any cucumbers. So we're making everything with pickles. We made a pickle tahini, a pickle um, hummus. That's in the refrigerator right now. I have pickle bread over there cooling and we're getting ready to make a cheeseburger hamburger, a cheeseburger pizza with extra pickles. Bread and butter pickles. A lot of people are not a fan of bread and butter pickles. They want, they want either dill. I like bread and butter pickles, but I want them made with zucchini and not with 
cucumbers. Weirdest thing, I know. Let me grab my, my other dill pickles, guys. I do have a jar of those in here. In my other pantry. And they should be right here. Well, let's do, hmm, let's do these instead. Because we were talking about these on stream. This particular brown, the Mount Olive. So we've got, I've, this is the one brand that I'm able to get of Mount Olive is their dill pickle spears, which is perfect. My brain can't input info when I'm told to look up more than one thing. I hyper focus on one thing. I know, Suki. I need them to send me, I need them to send me a, a promo jar of pickles. I tweeted them. I tweeted them. If we could get everybody in the Discord sharing my tweets, we might be getting sponsors from different people. So if you guys can't get a jar of pickles open because it's too hard to open, this is kind of concave. All your jars are going to be 